So today we're going to be doing our much anticipated 2 micron secondary fuel filter mod on our OM617 equipped W123 Mercedes behind me. So just so you've got kind of a vague idea of what we're doing, I've prepared some examples. Here we have the stock secondary fuel filter housing, which has the bolt that threads into the fuel filter itself, as well as the input outlet, uh, which don't mind the outlet is actually an overflow valve. That's for another day. Um, so essentially what we're doing, we have here a Baldwin BF7591-D fuel filter. This is rated at uh, two microns nominal, I believe. So whereas the stock filter is, I believe, 20 microns nominal, 20, 21, um, this is a much finer filter and it's also a water separator. It has a drain on the bottom and is rated as a water separating filter, which is a huge plus because these cars never came with any sort of water separation. So if you had got water in your fuel, essentially, if it didn't somehow managed to drop out into the secondary, it was going to go right through your injection system, causing all sorts of potential problems. Now the problem that we have, the filter's threads right here are a 16 millimeter thread, and this bolt is a 14 millimeter thread. So, that isn't going to work. I read online about a very simple solution to that, and that is a time cert thread um, repair thing. Re thread, thread repair sleeve, I believe they call it. So, this on the inside has 14 millimeter thread and on the outside has 16 millimeter thread. So, we can take this, <clears throat> thread it onto there, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this if it'll focus, but that is threaded onto our fuel filter bolt still have access to the uh, hole in the center there fine. And now, our fuel filter threads right on and seals just like the factory unit. And you note, it's the same diameter. You don't have to grind this, you don't have to tap this, you don't have to modify and change to some uh, crazy other filter setup this will fit onto the stock housing. Now the only caveat to that um, is that it may not fit because of the added length. We may have to cock this slightly sideways, but we'll show you that as we get started doing it. What we're gonna need to do is remove our current filter that we have. So I'm going to grab myself an adjustable wrench We'll loosen this dude up. Let me grab a container to pour that diesel into. Once we've got that off of there, we can even leave this bolt in if we wanted to. Uh, but I'm going to just leave that bolt right in there and uh, take our little time cert and reach down underneath of there and just thread that on. The wires down here that go to the glow plugs are just a little bit too tight, so we need to kink this out a little bit. So, six millimeter hex, we can take this bolt out, loosen, this other one so that we have room to twist this just around a little bit. Let's just see where we need to be for this to fit. <clears throat> so let's drop this down in here. Right there. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just that little bracket in the way. So, little adjustment there. Once you've got this in where you want it, just tighten your bolts back up. And there we go. That'll do it. So ideally we could build a little bracket or something to kind of extend this out or maybe move uh, where the vacuum uh, pump line and this AC line just kind of slide them back so that it would uh, fit a little more easily, have it you know back another inch or so. But without having to do any modifications other than removing that bolt and kinking this to the side, you've got two micron filtration and water separating capabilities. And then at this point, you would just pump your primer pump, start the thing up and be on your way. The same as if you had a stock filter on there and you can just carry these filters and not have to worry about it. And if you ever run into a situation where you need a filter in a pinch, you can literally just unscrew that time cert off of there and put a stock filter back on. No modifications necessary. So that's not that bad at all, is it? To convert from one of these little regular fuel filters that has a pretty poor rating for how much uh, contaminants it actually removes, being able to move to something that's practically fleet ready, water separating, finer filtration that'll protect your injection pump and your whole fuel system for many years to come and are readily available. And the only modification needed is that little tiny time cert. That's it. Pretty awesome, huh? So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Uh, please report back in the comments how this has gone for you. If you've been able to do this on your car, how it works and, uh, uh, any other things that uh, we might find interesting. So uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.